So I'm sitting in the back because um, Isaac's here. So today is actually our anniversary. It's our actually our 11 11 year how do you say 11th year anniversary. So anyway, so uh, for today's quick vlog, we are going to list 11 things about us as a couple. <laughs> I didn't know we we're doing this, by the way. <laughs> okay, fact number one: Matthew and I were high school sweethearts. We uh, went to the same high school in Brampton. We knew of each other um, like earlier in high school. We never had a class until we were in grade 11. Our first class was grade 11 biology in second semester. And then that's when everything all happened. Okay, fact number two, uh, the first memory that I had, I don't wanna see this one, it's weird. Why? I like this one. So I was in grade nine, but I didn't know who uh, Rachel was, but um, you know, grade nine, you. You stick to your like the the elementary school that you you're with, the people from there, and you know like we're mixed in with all the other schools. And I just remember in grade nine, at the end of school, um, I was talking to one of my friends, and uh, he's like, "Oh, did you meet did you meet any hot girls yet?" And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, no, no, I haven't." And then he was like, "What about that girl over there?" And then she pointed to Rachel, and she was standing in the lobby. She always hangs in the lobby um, after school, I guess, for a little bit. And I was like, nah, nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fact number three. Um, in high school, Matt had the, the reputation of being very, very smart. Um, so when we met, first thing I said to him was, hey, oh, um, aren't you Matt? Aren't you like so smart? That's what I said. And then what did you say, Matthew? I said, no, I'm dumb, <laughs> yeah. which is true. <laughs> no, he's smart. Fact number four. You're so bad at this. I am bad at this because you guys watch so much of these tags. Okay, so that's why. Fact number four um, is the fact that uh, we were both born in the same hospital in Toronto that doesn't exist anymore. It's yeah. called Wellesley, Wellesley Women's yeah. Hospital or something. Yeah. The thing is, we were both born there. I guess it's kind of like a two in one. So we were both born in the same hospital. However, our parents were both lived in Brampton like I lived in the same house my entire life and he lived in the same house his entire life and we were literally just like five minutes not even five minutes apart from each other fact are we on now five fact number five um oh M Matthew was my first boyfriend and would you say the same thing for you Matthew <laughs> yes <laughs> we were both uh first boyfriend and first girlfriend for each other uh fact six are we six yeah fact six uh, Rachel and I never lived together until we got married. Yes. Um, okay, fact number seven. We got engaged on Matthew's birthday. Matthew surprised me on his birthday. Um, it was uh, 2014. We were having dinner or whatever, and then we came, he proposed at his house, which was nice um, because it was very comfortable, which is what I like. What was nice is that um, my uh, because I'm so close with my family, um, my family was all hiding upstairs. It was very nice and it was exactly what I wanted. Because it was his birthday, I was all dressed up and stuff, so it was good for photos. So I applaud him for planning that much. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't even think about that. The whole week before um, he proposed, um, I was sick, so I wasn't putting on makeup or whatever. So it just so happened because it was his birthday, I knew we were going out, so I was like, okay, I'll put on makeup and like, you know, actually like do something with my hair. Uh, fact number eight. We're gonna bring it back to elementary school. There was a chance we could have met at a free throw competition. We, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, uh, we were grade eight, right? Grade eight. We went to different elementary schools. Yeah. And um, our schools had um, free throw competitions, and whoever won in their grade, um, it was like so. It was like in their grade, and it was girl and boy. So I represented my school for girls because uh, we competed uh, with the girls at our own school and I was first place and he was first place for boys. So we were all supposed to go to the same tournament and um, he didn't go, but I did. Yeah, so that was so an opportunity lost. Yeah, but I guess there's another like uh, fact within one, but there's one time I know we went to the same track and field meet when we were in elementary school, but I didn't, like, obviously I didn't know who you were. I didn't, it's not like I was looking for you or whatever. So we went to the same thing, but I don't remember if I met him or anything. 
Okay, fact number nine. Hmm. So we got married July 18, 2015. And the reason why we chose 18 was first we wanted the 25th, but it was taken. And then we chose the 18th because it was available and also because it had eight in it, which is lucky. I guess a lucky number. Also, we found out that the 25th was actually not even taken. You get like a newsletter at the church, right? And like the 25th wasn't taken. So I don't know if they dropped out or whatever, the couple. Okay, fact number 10. Um, I know we're kind of bouncing around chronologically, but this one has to do with university. Uh, we both didn't live on campus. We both commuted to school. Uh, we took the GO train and we always tried to make sure that we would take the same train to, to school. Uh, we didn't go to the same school, but they're both in Toronto. I went to U of T, she went to Ryerson. Uh, so it was nice. We, got, we took the train from Brampton GO to Union Station every day together. The express train, 723, I think. Yeah, the 723 express train. Yeah. Fact number 11, um, I guess we'll have to be, what? Let me think. Okay, so there's this moment when I was in high school when we weren't, like, I think we were just talking. I don't even think that we were, like, together at this point. But um, I was in school choir, and um, I didn't know that he was Catholic. And I saw him, like, going up for the Eucharist during, like, a school mass. And then at that moment, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I could marry this guy. That's what I thought. You know, my faith is a big part of me, but it's not, like, a... I'm not like extreme in it, but it's a big part of me. And to see that he he shared the same like faith as me was uh, for some reason it just like clicked to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could totally marry this guy. But like I, there's something about you that I just knew. And I guess like they say, when you just when you know, you just know. Yep. Um, okay, and then we'll just close this vlog with um, explaining, I guess, how does it feel being together for 11 years, being married for almost two years. For me, it feels very easy. I'd say it's a. Uh... I don't know, I guess it's it's comfortable, it's it's nice. It's nice having um, kind of a partner in everything you do in life. It's been it's been a long time, like through a lot of milestones in our lives. Yeah. Uh, the end of high school, university, after Yeah, getting um, getting engaged, getting, getting married, exactly. getting a home, having having Isaac. I would definitely have to say that um, I really believe that a re if a relationship or marriage is is good it really shouldn't be like um, something that you have to put so much effort in like yes there has to be effort but like honestly like for me and Matt like it really does feel effortless um, I'm we're like truly happy together to be with each other doing like random things being together for 11 years it honestly does not feel like it yeah I would say um, I feel we feel very lucky to be um, to say that we've made it 11 years it's definitely like a blessing to I, to find someone who you really think is like your soulmate and who like you know we take care of each other and we just enjoy each other's company and that type of thing and as Matt you, you always used to say to me that like you have stress like at work and at school and the one thing that shouldn't be stressing you out is your relationship when you come home that should be like your you know your what do you, how do you call it like your safe, safe haven yeah, yeah you're like your safe haven or whatever so it should be something that you shouldn't be like stressed to come home to or feel bad to come home to anyway so this is right here is the product of our 11 year relationship say hi isaac isaac okay so hopefully we get to do one of these fun facts about um our relationship sometime in the future bye guys bye, bye.